hi, howdy, welcome back. If I look a little frazzled, it's just because I'm trying to get my kid to take his nap. Instead, he's trying to put his foot through the wall. Okay, if you guys can't tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be looking at a discontinued palette, Natasha Denona's Metropolis palette. Mm! I managed to acquire this online. It's okay. But before we get into this review, if this is your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit like. If this is not your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit subscribe, and like, either or, whatever makes you comfortable. But I am going to warn you, this is a discontinued object, a discontinued product. You can no longer buy this in regular stores. Um, so if you don't like to watch videos and stuff you can't easily get a hold of, or that's discontinued, this is not a video for you. If you're a Natasha Nona fan, this is a video for you. If you're just interested in the color story and the quality, this is for you. If you're just into geeking out on some of these, this is for you. Okay, that being said, this is the Metropolis palette. Bum, bum, bum. It's original retail price, I believe, was $129. I managed to get this online from somebody new, still in the box, for not very much more than the original cost, which is a freaking feat all on its own. Okay. All on its own. Now, I am a huge nerd. I have never hidden that. If you've ever seen the movie Metropolis, if you're into The Great Gatsby, if you're looking at that 1920s feel color story, like the colors were amazing, the fashion was amazing, the marching your way into a depression and World War II, not so much. <laughs> that being said, let's just open this. Boom, boom, boom. This is how it comes packaged. This is foam, in case you're curious. These are the color names. Um, I thought. Now, I'm not gonna swatch this whole palette. It is a 28 color palette. I feel almost like this is a ColourPop Mega Pan. 28. Now, in case you're curious, this came out in the midi size square. We're gonna hold this up in comparison. This is the standard size. See the size difference? Ooh, look at that bigness. But actually, I'm okay with the fact that it's not a massive pan because I would like to get somewhere with these. And I feel like sometimes the massive pans Unless you wear it every day until it expires, it's not going to be worth it for you. Now, the smaller size, I do like. Um, if you can't tell, this formula spreads really easily. She does have some of her cream to mattes in here. Um, I show a lot of sparkle in here, but this is an entirely warm themed palette. I have been wearing this nonstop for like two weeks. We're gonna we're gonna swatch some colors, like for example, we're gonna dip into Troop Rust Rope Lethal. We're just gonna swatch it up and let you guys see. Now she does have several greens in here. One that looks almost like a blue. Look at that! I barely tamped into that with my finger. She does have. Point out this is a cream to matte formula, cream to powder, I should say. This one. This is the color that gets me every time. Is that green? That olivey green. The color is called Lethal. Okay. Okay, I can see where you're going with that. Let's try Rhizome down here at the bottom. It is a more mustardy colored neutral. Definitely a matte. Um, while we're at it, let's try Jubilee. This is like a warmer blue. Now these colors are something else. Like I am loving these. Now, in case you guys are curious, when I'm holding it up, it is not a black you're seeing in those two spots. They are dark blues. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe my fingers off. These are actually not blacks. Okay, this is symbol. This is a dark, dark blue. Let's see if I can get this to show the blue a little better. 
Okay, look at that. That is a blue. That is a blue blue. And that is, I feel like that is her cream to mint. Her cream to powder, I should say. And then this other one here. Enigma. It's a different blue, if you can't tell the color difference. One takes a little bit more of a teal approach. This is definitely a blue. If you hear my son in the background, we're trying to take a nap. We are fighting a nap hard, but we are so tired. We are trying to bargain that Batman to come out from his nap, uh, and it's a no-go. My other one is taking a nap. That's part of why the older one's being pushed into nap time. Because, golly gee, you're not going to go in there and wake your little brother up again. So we're trying for a nap. I'm going to give it till the end of this video, and if he doesn't go down, I will release the Kraken. Okay. Now, I know some of you have probably looking at some of these glitterier shades, like Orium. Let's take a look at that one. In case you're curious, this color does stick. These colors are strong. The pigment is strong in this one. Now, this is Orium. If you can't tell, it's almost like a topper shade. We're gonna try applying Orium over another color. Example, over the green. It really knocks the green up when you're actually applying it as a makeup. In case you're curious, I've already prepped my eyes today with primer. So we're gonna try these colors out. I'm so excited by this palette. I should not be this excited by a palette. But it was just the sheer, look what I got. Oh my God, I got it. Oh my God, I feel more accomplished at this than when I do something perfectly well at work. And I think that's because this is harder to do. Finding the out of, out, out, out of stocks, the out of goes. Okay, let's, let's try. In case you're curious, his dad is out there. with him, trying to help him get to his nap. But he's two and napping is just not his jam. He's decided he's too old for napping. Mom has decided differently. Oh my goodness, look at this shade of green. This is amazing. I love this color. It is so olivey. Oh my goodness, I think we're winding down. We might actually nap. Come on, bro, you don't want that nap. Mommy wants you to take a nap so I can finish this video and do the dishes. Okay, that is great. Now the one thing I've learned with Natasha Denona is like the cream de matte does not always layer as well as I would like, but that's not the style of the makeup. That being said, we're gonna try a slightly different approach to applying. Okay, we've got our green on. And we're going to dip into our rope, which is the soft brown. And dad, dad hang pretty good. But nap time, dad, dad checks on him. And when he is put down for his nap, we call it quiet time. Because he doesn't have to sleep, let's face it. You can't force someone to be tired. You can't, even though this kid is definitely tired. So, let's 
put down for his nap, his quiet time. And he is put down with toys and some books and his binky. And I'd say about I got a 50-50% success rate. See, now these actually blend really well if you apply it like the corner color first and then this together. But if you actually just put the whole overall base color and then this on top of it, a lot of times the cream shadow does not necessarily want to sit the right way. Now, we've got this down. Let's try adding Orium on top of it. brush, soften up the edges, You know, I like that. It's not my best application. I'm still playing with this palette. I will max this out. I will get this perfectly figured out. You can guarantee it. This is a gorgeous palette. Oh my god. I thought we'd try something with the blue. Mm. Let's try something with the blue. And I will apply this side the other way, where I put the base color down first. Okay, guys. Do you guys enjoy the Natasha and Donut Denona? Did anybody else get Metropolis when it was available? Like, I did not even think of getting Metropolis when it was available. I remember seeing it, but at the time, I was like, I don't know about that kind of price point. I don't know about the quality. Like that makes the whole difference. That makes a world of freaking difference for me. Is if I don't know about the quality, I'm not gonna drop that kind of price point money. Okay. Now, oddly enough, I don't know if you can tell, these are two different base shades. Like when they're applied, they're very similar, but this one is definitely a much more yellow undertone. Let's find a way to put the blues in. Okay, this blue is gonna be a little harder to work with because of the... I'm gonna try this one first. I think this is the one we swatched first. I think I'm going to be out of luck. I'm getting him to take this nap. You'll have to forgive me. My contacts are shifting right now. I am trying out a new type of contact for my eye. I have an abnormally large eye and not all contacts I can use. It will constrict my eye and actually cause the blood vessels to come up to the top. Learned that several years ago. That did not go well. I had to actually get a specific contact. Now, let's get a little blending going on here. Okay, we're seeing berry fingers. 
This is a song our dad dad made up with us. Okay, that is a lot of high octane color, honestly. And the more you work it out, the more of a teal it becomes. And when it blends with this yellowy orange, this yellowy tan, it definitely takes on a lot more of a green tone. We're gonna dip into a color I haven't had the chance to play with yet, aqueous. And it is just a blue, Oh my goodness, the world is ending. We are forced to take quiet time. Let's blend the edging. I swear this looks better in person than it does on this video camera. What I'm going to do is take a picture of this, show you guys. Now I put in a very extreme eyeliner here and some mascara. We will call that even. Let's see if I can get. This one I would line with a green eyeliner. In fact, do I have one? Let's pull one out. Let's show you. We saw this beast in a previous video. Let's use it. Let's show off what she can do. This side, I would probably pull out the Urban Decay one, Chaos, just as a way of popping the blue. Okay there, that is two different eye looks. This one obviously would be me hanging out, going to friends, partying, not a wear to work look. This I've actually worn to work. I get really good reviews, especially if you pop it with a bright pink lipstick or a neutrals lipstick. Um, okay guys, what do you think? What do you think of Natasha Denona? I've shared a lot of really good feedback actually from you guys and honestly, <coughs> Honestly, the only reason I gave Natasha Denona 
a second go after the mini retros palettes was because of you guys. And actually, thank you. Thank you for that. Because this palette makes me happy on a level I did not expect. I'm in the process of seeing if I can acquire some more of her stuff. She just had a pastel palette drop. We might be pulling that out. Seeing about ordering that and pulling that out. So guys, let me know what you think. Did you guys enjoy this palette when it was out? Do you guys enjoy these kind of discontinued videos of stuff I do have that's been discontinued? In this case, I acquired because I was lusting after the color story. Okay, what do you think? What did you think of the color story? Like, I know some folks, this was just definitely not their jam. Too warm, not much fun for them. It's colors like this, though, that is totally drawing me to this palette. So, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. I have also managed to acquire the gold palette. That one I paid a stupid amount for. I'm gonna be up front. I paid like 180 bucks for it. We're never gonna tell my husband that. No, seriously, I got a discount on it. I actually made a trade. Its original price was like 180, and then I actually traded somebody some of the stuff I had to get that knocked down pretty far, actually. Cause I don't need all shirt palette surgery. Whatever, whatever. Okay guys, leave comments down below. If you have no comments, you know, just like the video. Um, let me know what you think though. Let me know what you think of the palette. Let me know what you think of the company. Okay, I'm gonna end this with guys, be safe, okay? While it seems COVID is on the downswing finally, realize that there are some areas that are going to have a higher infection rate and are gonna ask you to wear a mask. And it's not just to be jerks, it's because you could run the risk of making somebody very, very sick. That being said, I'm gonna point out that I have lost a third of my lung capacity to it. And my mother spent four months with pneumonia from it. Okay guys, I'm gonna end on that note. I'm gonna give up. That is clearly not gonna nap. Thanks, have a nice day.